remember guys, uh, I honestly kind of refuse to believe that this is true. I just feel like I'm in a weird time warp because the fact that we're in the last quarter of 2020 is just, it's just strange. Hello friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. And of course, welcome back to yet another Plan With Me video. Today I'm doing my September bullet journal setup. I feel like I desperately need some order in the chaos. If you guys haven't heard the exciting news yet, um, I recently announced the first ever Shop Amanda Rachel Lee washi tape collection and dotted notebooks. By the time this video goes up, they will have already launched, but it has been such a long time coming. I have been working on these for quite some time and I've been really excited to show you guys. So the fact that they're finally out is very exciting. I announced all of it on my Instagram. So if you did miss out on all of the information about the collection, I'll leave it down below. But I'm just really happy that I can finally use the washi tapes in my videos because I've been wanting to, but of course it was kind of like a secret. So we can finally use the washi tapes in this month's bullet journal spread, which I'm so excited for. So let's just get started here. This video is of course brought to you by my lovely friends over at Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace's all-in-one platform is the perfect place to help you build your online presence or run your business. I'll talk a little bit more about Squarespace later in the video, but for now, let's get this party started. <laughs> Grab your bullet journals, your snacks, cup of tea, stationery, washi tapes, <laughs> and let's do this. So for my September bullet journal theme, I decided to go for a computer screen slash computer window theme. Now, I know I'm not the first person to do a theme kind of like this. I've seen a lot of people do some sort of version of this, but the particular post that I was inspired by was actually on Reddit and it was by the user Third Nookling. They did a vaporwave theme, which had sort of like old school Microsoft Paint, Microsoft Windows XP vibes to them. And I really loved it, especially considering September. I know a lot of you guys are going back to school and in this weird new time, a lot of people will be going back to online online school slash just in general, we've all been online a lot more so recently. So I thought this theme would fit perfectly. So um, I decided to put my own spin on it. I really wanted to do a purple theme for some reason. I don't know why I had my heart set on purple for September, but I just feel like I haven't done purple in a while in my bullet journal. So, you know, I went for pastel purple and I really liked the way that it turned out. So this theme is actually super, super easy to do. A lot of the doodles were just the rounded computer window screens. So compared to last month, which was very doodle heavy, I thought this was very nice and simple and you could simplify it even further and just not draw as many computer windows. Along with the pastel purple tones, I also used a beige marker as sort of a pop of color. And with that, I thought I would throw in some of my washi tapes from my washi tape collection. This is the light neutral set. Currently, this set is sold out, but we're working on restock, so don't worry. Um, if you are interested though, we do have a few other sets still in stock, as well as all of the dotted notebooks that I use are available on the shop website. Anyway, that was my plug back to the, the cover page. As you can see, I'm just drawing a bunch of computer windows with various things inside. So for September, I drew a mini calendar in one of them. I also drew a little quote that says, do you want to recharge and error screens and loading screens? I had a lot of fun with filling in what goes inside each computer window and you can kind of fit that to your your vibe this month the main thing is just making sure that it has the three buttons at the top but in general they're pretty easy to doodle and i think they turn out super cute to go along with the simple vibes of this setup, I also decided to go for more of a simple style with my lettering. So I didn't do any sort of calligraphy or cursive. It's all this lowercase type of lettering for my titles. I did do sort of like block style lettering and then I colored in the background really quickly with like a circle of purple. And I really liked the way that it looked. I think overall it looks very cute and quirky. On the other side of the cover page, I decided to go for that Microsoft Paint window. This is such a throwback. I remember doodling on Microsoft Paint um, in classrooms or just at home whenever I was bored and playing around with that with a bunch of the different tools. So I drew a 
Microsoft Paint window and then inside it I drew a simple quote and this was just really fun to do. I would recommend filling in the windows with whatever you want, whatever you speaks to you for this month, whether it be quotes or you know you can add more modules if you want more organization for your cover pages and it's just a really fun theme to play around with i think there the possibilities are kind of endless with this so my quote just says hey you got this because you know we just need that three quarters of the way through 2020 motivation so if you guys are going through a tough time you got this i believe in you um, anyway, for my September calendar monthly log, I also drew this as a computer screen window. With this theme, it's so, so easy to integrate the theme because pretty much in any instance when you're creating a section or a box, just turn it into a computer screen window. Automatically integrates well with the theme. So for the calendar, I decided to make it look like each day of the week is sort of like a different tab in your internet browser window and I thought it turned out very well. I know a lot of people ask me for the grid spacing for each spread and I try to remember but sometimes I forget so for this particular spread each individual box is six by six boxes. The only markers that I used for this setup were the pastel purple, the slightly darker purple, as well as that beige tone. And two of those markers were actually Crayola Super Tips. One of them was a Tombow Dual Brush Pen, but as usual, I'll leave the exact details of what I used for this setup in the description box below. But I did want to keep the color palette pretty simple just to go along with that simple vibe that we have going along. Um, even in the negative space, usually I would feel the need to fill in with a lot more doodles, but I kind of liked the negative space, so I just, you know, added a few strips of washi tape and that was pretty much it. Next up, we have my tracker spreads for the month. And as soon as I decided on doing this theme for September, the first spread idea I had was this tracker spread because these computer window screens, although they are cute and go with the theme and everything, they were just perfect for spreads like this where you need to divide things out. So for each individual mini calendar, I put it in uh, its own computer screen box. I did use my monthly calendar stamps to speed things up a little to make things quicker and it was just a really quick and easy spread. Uh, for the title for my uh, habit tracker, I just put it also in a computer screen window but with that same sort of lowercase block letter font. And it works out perfectly because in the top bar of the uh, little computer screen windows. That's where I put the individual habits that I will be tracking. So I put working out, watering my plants, taking my vitamins, that sort of thing. In my cover page, I played around with doing like workout.jpg or, you know, quote slash PDF or something. So that's something you can have fun with with this theme as well. For my mood tracker below, I came up with the idea of using the individual file folders that you would see on a desktop window. So I drew 30 of them and each folder corresponds to a different day and I'll be coloring them in according to my mood. I thought it was kind of a cute idea and it definitely goes really well with the theme. Personally, my desktop is cluttered with a lot of folders, so this is definitely a very realistic depiction of what my computer desktop looks like. If you are one of those people who have a completely empty computer desktop or one that's extremely organized, then props to you, I respect you, it's just not me. I wish I could be that. <laughs> The next spread I made was my monthly tasks spread. This is something new-ish, but not really. Um, if you guys have seen the past few setups from this year, then you'll know that I've been kind of experimenting with various things, whether it be using categories in my weekly spreads or categories in my tracker spreads, that sort of thing. And what I found is that I do like having sort of a hub for general to-do list tasks that are throughout the entire month. So I decided to make a whole spread for it, just to kind of dedicate an area for it. So 
On this section, I have different computer screen windows to separate things out. I have one that is a shopping list. I also have one for like my Shop Amanda Rich Lee stuff, as well as a stuff to check out section for this month. But you can switch out these categories to whatever fits your lifestyle. For example, for students, this could be a great way to split out by subject. Um, just because, you know, there's those tasks that aren't necessarily daily tasks, but stuff you want to get done within this entire month. So this is kind of like that master to-do list area for me. Um, but of course, whatever works for you, you know, this is just what I did for this month. Next, I did my monthly playlist spread and I had a lot of fun with this spread because I made the window look kind of like a Spotify window, which was really fun. So I printed out a bunch of the album covers, stuck them down and yeah, it was just a cute, cute idea that I had. Um, speaking of my Spotify playlist, if you are interested in any of the music that I'm listening to, as usual, I'll link my monthly playlist down below, but some of the songs include Dynamite by BTS, Seventeen by Pink Sweats, Ravina, basically all Ravina songs because I just love her music. Perfect chill vibes. Um, but again, all of it will be linked down below. Also be sure to leave some song recommendations for me in the comments as usual because I always love discovering new music. Final touches for this spread include layering smaller computer windows. I recommend having fun with layering these little computer screen boxes if you're gonna try out this theme because it's a lot of fun and makes it look cuter. And then of course, washi tape to finish things off. Finally, we have the first weekly spread for September. And of course I had to use the computer screen windows to divide out the daily boxes. Now, normally I would just do very structured columns and rows, but for this, I really wanted to make them look like computer screen windows that are just strewn about on the desktop. So I sketched out beforehand. They're pretty much the same measurements as um, my typical layouts, but I just wanted to, you know, make them look a little bit more random. So I layered them and made some higher than others and all of that. And then I just basically alternated between the three colors in my color scheme this month. At the top bar of each window, that's where I put the day of the week as well as the number. So for, for example, Tuesday, I put Tuesday underscore one, so it would look like an actual computer screen window. I don't know, just a fun detail. I thought <laughs> that was cute. The only other extra things that I did for this spread was a small mini September calendar in the top corner because there was kind of a perfect empty space for it and then also some doodles of desktop folders in the bottom right with a little cursor clicking them which was a nice final touch to this spread. Before I show you guys the full foot through, I wanted to thank my friends over at Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for making the videos possible. My personal website, amandarachley.com, is on Squarespace and has been for the past couple of years. I love my website, I think it looks so professional and very chef's kiss, <laughs> but trust me guys, I know how overwhelming website building can get, but with Squarespace's all-in-one platform, it makes it super easy. You just drag and drop things. One of my personal favorite features is the automatic image scaling and the easy import. Images and photos and the visual aspects of a website are obviously super important to make sure that you look very professional. So the fact that the photos can be pulled from your social media websites, your Instagram, Flickr, Twitter, all of that, and then automatically scaled and sized to be the perfect fit for a website is so awesome and easy. To make things even easier, you can make use of all of their beautiful templates. And of course, if you do have any issues with your website, Squarespace offers 24 seven email support. If you guys have been meaning to make a website, redesign a website, or try out Squarespace for yourself, make sure you head to squarespace.com slash amandarachley for a free trial and for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Okay, to the flip through.
Here's the final flip through of my September 2020 bullet journal setup. I really love the way this one turned out, especially coming out of my August setup, which was very, very drawing heavy. This one is sort of more minimal, but I think it's really cute and quirky and I can see so many different possibilities for it for you guys. So definitely have fun with this one and let me know what you guys thought. All right, my little doodles. So that was my September plan with me and bullet journal setup. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, it's time to showcase your recreations from last month, which I will show right here. If you do want a chance to be featured in next month's, uh, make sure you tag me on Instagram at Amanda H. Lee. I love scrolling through all of your recreations. Um, and also we do weekly spread live streams over on Twitch every single week. So if you wanna see how the rest of my, my month setup ends up looking from week to week, make sure you join us there. Again, as I mentioned, the Shop of Mandarich Lee Washi Tape Collection information will be down below if you guys missed out on launch. And I think that's it. I have a lot of information in my brain right now. I feel kind of scatterbrained, but I did just want to say thank you for being patient with the videos. I know there's been a little less than usual just because I've been kind of busy and preoccupied with the washi tape launch and all of that, but I know you guys understand. Thank you for the support always. You guys are the best and I'll talk to you in the next one. Keep doodling, bye.